After a bit of a dry patch, the Aussie bush has once again been hit with some heavy rainfall. The creek has risen back up, submerging my little wooden bridge across, but that isn't going to stop me from getting over and getting to work today. Here in the bush, we've had a bit of rain the past few days, as you just saw in that intro there, which has caused the creek to overflow again, so time to get across. Somewhere here should be my little a little bridge. There it is. Looks like we're getting a bit wet today. Alright, here we go. Careful. And easy does it. There's a bit of a strong pull in the water back there, but uh, we got across. And no water actually went through into my socks. Never mind, I can feel it seeping through now. Ah, I love the smell of autumn in the bush. Coming up into the encampment now. Whoop! Oh, I just got caught. Just got caught on a plant. Things are looking pretty chill down here. As my eyes gazed around, I looked around at my little bush encampment, seeing the little drops of rain hanging on the surfaces and the bigger puddles sitting on my roofs yet to be knocked off. But things were standing. It appears we've got got the build up of water in here. Let's take care of that. The little good old. Yeah. Well, I'm looking around and it seems that our new pole we've got up in here has kept the water off. I'm not seeing any major build-ups. And everywhere else is seeming okay as well. So let's go check how our dining area that we did has stood up against the first major rainfall. Coming over here, it seems that there is no water build up on the roof and it is completely dry under here at first glance. We have got no water build up up here on this roof at all. But it is hanging lower. I think I can see why here. Now it looks like it's still holding strong, but that could be a problem. Now, it seems what's happened is there was water build up which caused it to rip, which has caused it to tilt, but it means no more water build up is gonna happen. But it does mean this side here is probably going to need a little bit of extra securing. So I'm thinking a little hole here, rope through there, nail it to the tree. And that should hopefully stabilize this a bit better in case that were to rip. And just so it doesn't rip to give it a bit of extra support, I think that could be useful. But this is not going to be building up any water. Although I do have one concern. That branch up there, I didn't notice it when building it. But if that were to fall, it'd rip this thing right in half. Obviously, I can't do anything about it right now. But if that were to fall, we'd have a serious repair job on our hands here. And I don't like the thought of that. But unfortunately, there is not much I can do here. It also seems our pond is filled right back up, which I like to see. And look at how well the moss is doing. It's beautiful out here. I gazed around at the greenness of the moss. The beautifulness of my new pond area was looking really nice. But there was one thing on my mind. Had my plants grown at all? It's official. Just taking a look around. We have got our first sprouting plant here. It's pumpkins again. We come over here. Look right there. There's our first pumpkin. This could also potentially be one of our other plants sprouting here. Yeah, there's a few little of the same things coming through, so that could be it. Because that's where I did bury the... I think it was kale? Well, even that, maybe. Hmm. This could also potentially be corn. So it appears we could actually be quite lucky and have all three of the things we planted around this pond side starting to sprout through. Meaning we could have a whole pumpkin patch through here. Like, imagine that. Time will tell. As I began my journey to get back to work, I couldn't help but stop and stare at the beautiful bush scenery. A yellow sunset was coming out and a yellow glow was illuminating the bush. Just started to rain here in the bush. You can see it's quite, quite a rainy, rainy afternoon. Just waiting for it to pass. It was soon time to get to work, so I got my knife out and began putting a hole into the tarp of where I was going to put the rope through. Once the knife was through, I then went and grabbed my rope, pushing the rope through, 
and then getting ready to put it onto the tree. I stretched it out to where I wanted it and then started hammering in a nail, which I then proceeded to wrap the rope around and hammer into the tree. The job is done. That is nice and secure. That should hopefully give the extra support that this needs. I hear something in the distance. Sounds like something running through the scrub. Yeah, not too sure what that's all about. But it is starting to get dark now. It is heading into winter, so it does get darker a lot quicker out here in the bush. So I'm having to be a little bit more time savvy once again with when I plan out my projects. It does yet again mean that filming is going to be a bit more difficult as I'm not always available to film on weekends and afternoons are all I really have. But they get real dark quickly now. So it's going to be kind of hard for a bit to film. Uh, just like last year. But I hope you guys can understand that. And I'll try my best to keep up with the uploads. I love that pond. I definitely think something I'm going to have to do is... Because these lights here in the tent, they don't stay on very long. So I think I'm going to have to put the sensor somewhere in future where the... It, get, it gets more sun. But I'm going to have to stay here on a full day so I can see where the sun shines the most to figure that out but yeah that's something i'm gonna have to do okay had some pretty cool plants sprouting down here in the bush oh, i just tripped over a stick i just kind of want to show off what's been changing now that we're heading into autumn i wow it's grown a lot look at that flower i love that look how beautiful this flower is just sitting here in the garden look how these vines are creeping across onto my other plants Things have been really taking off down here in the bush recently. Just like a bunch of birds over there. But the autumn tree is, it's grown quite a lot. Look at it right here. Look at it, it's grown a lot in the time I've had it. Look at this one here too. It's grown a whole like new plant behind it and it's really wrapping around the tree. Bush sunset. And yes, um, to I'm sure many people's surprise, including my own, the lean-to is indeed still standing. I don't know how, but it is. SpongeBob's also currently sitting in the grass. And it seems something's been chomping on the bush plant. Don't approve of that, but oh well. But as you can see, as we take a look around our little bush encampment here, things have gotten a bit overgrown since the floods. And nature, as much as I love it, taking over things, um, it is a bit of a hazard in certain areas that I do want to keep clear, snakes. So most of the pathways that I had down here, they've kind of, they're kind of getting covered up in plants. That needs to be changed. And there's just certain areas like my garden areas, they're not really safe, snake safe. They need to be cleared out a bit. And just stuff like this needs to be cleared out. I don't want to get rid of the plant life, I love the plant life, and I love seeing how it interacts and changes with what I build down here, but there's just certain pathways and areas that do need to be cleared out, just so I can still be safe myself here, and not have to worry about a snake jumping out at me. Now, because of all the rain recently, stuff has been growing everywhere, so a big clear out needs to happen. A lot of the pathways I have down here are quite overgrown, and that needs to change so that I can feel safer. There's also, there's just a lot of rubbish down here that I, I'll admit, I've been a bit lazy recently and I haven't really done as much cleaning as I should. So that also is gonna have to happen. A big clean, oh, I like this stick in my hair there. A big clean out is gonna have to happen. But that's all gonna be in the next episode. Even things just like joining up the paranormal tent to the original tent could just be made a lot smoother. A lot of work does need to be done before I move on to the final bush project. And yes, I could split this into multiple episodes and do it over the next few months, but instead I've made a decision. I am in the next episode going to do one massive episode where I go back, revisit everything, completely do it up, clear out the place, and just get everything ready for that final bush project. So next episode is going to be a massive episode i'm going to do everything currently on my checklist finishing the gardens doing all the paths big clean outs fixing current tents um in interiors that i've still got to do um more gardens 
um, other gardens, ponds, work. Uh, there's just there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done before I can move on to the final bush project, and I'm going to cover it all in the next episode. It's going to be massive. I'm going to do a lot of stuff, and because of that, I'm not too sure when the next episode will actually be, because it's going to be a big one. But I'm hoping it's not going to be too long. And when it does, it it might be an hour, two hour long bush life video. It could be the longest bush life video because I'm going to be covering everything in it to get ready for the final bush project. And then after that, it's the final project, the final secret project that I am keeping from you guys still. And I will tell it maybe at the end of next episode. We just have to wait and see. But we've got one episode to go till the final bush project begins. So stay tuned. Consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video. I've been trying out a lot of other new content types. So while I may not be uploading bush life as much, I will be uploading other stuff. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next episode.